Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, we're going to integrate cosine x over 1 minus cosine 2x. Solution. So when you see the uh, cosine 2x, uh, it makes you realize that if you just make a substitution, um, it might not work so well because of the 2x. So then you think about identities, and the one um, that comes to mind for me is sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cosine 2x over 2. So I have this one memorized just because um, I do a lot of integration. This is one of the most useful ones uh, for integrating. And so you see on the bottom here you have the 1 minus cosine 2x. So what you can do is you can solve for that by multiplying both sides by 2. So this is 2 sine squared x and that's equal to 1 minus cosine 2x. So let's go ahead and make that substitution uh, using the identity. So this becomes the integral of cosine x over, and then here we have uh, 2 sine squared x dx. And this appears to be something familiar. Let's see if we can rewrite this. So we can pull out the 2, and that will become a 1 half. And let's try to think of it as cosine of x over sine of x times, and then you can write this as 1 over sine of x, right? Because sine times sine is uh, sine squared. This becomes, let's see, 1 half. Cosine over sine is cotangent of x. And then 1 over sine, well, that's just uh, cosecant, cosecant of x dx. And now we got this, right? Um, when we're integrating cotangent cosecant, we can ask ourselves, uh, what's a function whose derivative is cosecant cotangent? Well, the derivative of uh, cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent. So here we have to have a negative to make it work. So this will be negative one-half cosecant x plus c. And let's just check our logic here. If we take the derivative of cosecant, we get negative cosecant cotangent. But there's a negative here, so it cancels out, so, so everything looks okay. This is from um, the MIT Integration B qualifying exam. I believe the year was, was 2018. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.